guys, this is Cam over at US Motor Works. I'm the Draley Product Category Manager. Today we're gonna to be talking about our 16797 PWM fan controller. The cool thing about this controller is it'll take any 12 volt aftermarket brushed fan and make it a true one to 100 style operation. So basically that the controller is only going to run the fans as much as they need it in comparison to a traditional controller where it's switching off and on, you're kind of chasing the temperature. This is gonna keep the temperature regulated wherever you want it. Uh, we have a, a window of 130 to 240 degrees on this unit, so you can set it anywhere you want in that range. It has a rating of 70 amps, so you can connect one, two, three, five fans, however many you want, as long as it's under the 70 amp limit. The main way we're getting the temperature is with a stick-on sensor that's going to adhere directly to the hot tank and it's constantly monitoring the actual temperature so you're not responding to it. Again, it's just maintaining it where you want and we'll go further into that later on. Looking closer at the wires, we're gonna start with some of our more basic connections. This yellow wire is going to be our key switch power wire. That allows the controller to only operate while the vehicle is running. And then after you shut down, it also begins the 20 second cool down timer where after 20 seconds, the fans will shut down but it helps drop a little more heat when you first shut off. We also have our green override wire. That's gonna be a manual override. You can do an AC override, pretty much anything you want where the fans are gonna be operating at 60% or more to help give you a little additional cooling. Our blue wire is the connection to the fans themselves. So this is gonna be what's varying power and output. Uh, you can connect as many fans as you want to this. You can use a junction block if you're doing multiple wires that stack up and get fairly thick. So this is gonna be what the key connection is. Uh, we have our red power wire, which again is pulling power from the battery. We wanna avoid the starter or alternator, which can basically kill the controller because it's unregulated voltage. And then we have our ground wire for the controller. And this is just, again, a basic chassis ground, engine ground, anywhere you're getting a good clean ground signal from. And then we have our special stick on sensor with the 3M VHB tape. All you're gonna do is you will peel this protective coating off. And then on whatever tank you're using, aluminum, plastic, brass, any material, you're gonna find a good clean flat spot that you can just press and hold that sensor to for it to adhere. After a few seconds, it'll tack up and you can let go. You just, want, again, want to make sure you're getting it as close to the inlet or the hottest point of the radiator possible. It could be on the side, on the back, anywhere that you're able to stick that sensor and it's able to get a good, clean contact. Looking at the kit contents of what come with this controller, there are some basics like zip ties to keep the wires clean and out of the way as you progress. We have some sheet metal screws that are going to hold the controller and the circuit breaker in place when you, des when you have the desired location. There's going to be the circuit breaker itself, which is a 50 amp breaker rated for all Derailly fan kits. We have some number 10 red wire to make the connection from the breaker to your battery or power distribution point. Some scotch lock connectors in case you don't want to cut wires apart. And then we also have some ring terminals just to make those final connections. And then finally, we have the instruction sheet, which comes in every box and also is listed on Derailly.com under the 16797 part number, where you can review the installation requirements, make sure you're up to the task and lay everything out prior to beginning the task. And I understand most people aren't necessarily a fan of some of these materials, but this is just a general install kit for everyone on the market. You're more than welcome to cut and solder do any kind of connectors that you may have yourself, whatever you want to do, is going to be more than acceptable for this unit.